Thanks again, YouTube, and welcome to another Halo Mega Bloks review with the SS Motion. So, today I'll be reviewing the Halo Mega Bloks Flame Warthog, which is 207 pieces, is item number 97449, retails at $24.99, and is one of the most amazing sets I've ever reviewed in the new articulation and brand new Fall 2014 line. Now we'll start the review with these brand new figures. There are two figures included in the set and they are the brand new mould and articulation Gungnir Spartans. They come in both a red and a yellow colour and look exceptional. Now, for anyone that doesn't know, Mega Bloks have basically revamped the entire figure line when it comes to Spartans and Marines, basic UNSC. What they have done is they have introduced two new aspects to the build. The first one is new articulation. Now this is basically working on the arms. The arms attach through a ball joint like you can see here. Because they attach like this, they can basically move all the way around and have much better posability. Now compared to an old figure, when it comes to holding a weapon, they can actually hold them quite realistically to the game. Instead of, you know, not being able to move all the way round because of their old joints. These new ball joints mean you can just pose them in any kind of situation. And because of this, they look so much more awesome. Now, the second and probably the most important thing with the new figures, which when I saw I was a bit skeptical at first with, is this. All of the armour is now removable on the actual Spartan. Now, like I said, I was a bit sceptical at first. I thought because it was removable, there'd be little holes and rubbish bits to insert into. And I also thought they'd snap easily, but honestly, they feel pretty nice. I've swapped these around about 20 times now, and they just, they don't show any sign of breaking. They're very, very good. Now, like I said, I thought there'd be holes to insert into, but they just sort of clip into place. They're really well designed and you only need one to see that it can actually just clip on nicely and it's actually quite hard to get off. So these are really well built. And as you can see, the hole still remains on the back so you can insert weapons through. So obviously with this new armor removability, it means you can take other armor and insert it straight on to make your own customizable figures, which is obviously a really cool thing to do. I mean, you can make your Spartan from in-game if you want the right colors, and all sorts of different things. It's a really smart idea. The shoulders can also remove, so obviously they can be replaced as well. They do have a little snub, but honestly I don't really mind. That is definitely necessary. And then the back, the legs can also remove as well. If I take this off, it sort of just pulls up. It's a little bit fiddly, but it does come eventually and as you can see, it does come off like that. So this one obviously is just a hole there, which you insert into, which means no snubs, no nasty marks. It's all very nice. And a really positive point for me is, not only do they not have dodgy marks, they've also made a really nice mold on the chest and underneath all the armor. So it still looks really smart, even if you remove the armor. The figures themselves are just in their plain retrospective colors with black under base uh, where you can just remove the armor away and they also have nice helmets with a little bit of detail in these eye pieces in white or blue and nice stripes of the reverse colors making them a really nice pair these two guys they look amazing and gladly to me they are actually the same size as the old figures because when I saw the new articulation I was worried they'd phase out the old figures entirely but they look awesome next to each other so the Warthog itself is pretty much the exact same build as the Warthog Resistance in pieces and actual build. The, there's a couple of notable nice differences and a couple of notable points that I will add because I really like them. First of all, this piece actually inserts into the uh, flame section here. It's not just, uh, you know, in the old Warthog they had actual studs bearing around which did look a bit messy, but this one just inserts straight into that hole and looks awesome. The uh, nice reflective lights for a bonus on the top. They've added a couple of details I've noticed. For example, underneath the seats, there is actually a nice grid panel, um, sort of just to fill in the brick pieces, which looks really nice. The turret is awesome as always. 
has a load of detail and a load of pieces to build it up. There's a nice antenna on the back and the colour scheme is actually really nice. It is not black if you can notice, it's a sort of really dark green. There's some nice red seats to stand out, sort of to match the gun here. And the whole build is just a pleasure to make. It looks incredible and the main point that really stands out for me as a collector is this is printed detail. There is no stickers, which means it will not peel, it will not bubble, and it just looks awesome, including this amazing gritty detail at the front. It is an exceptional build and an awesome vehicle. We are also treated to three weapons, a target locator, which is an amazing one to get, considering this has only been in things like the uh, Reach Wraith before, so really nice to get that weapon back again. We get a plain black saw, always nice to have, and we get a new style mold reach shotgun. So three awesome weapons. All in all guys, this is an incredible set. We get this brand new Warthog with awesome printed detail and some really nice new features. By far the best Warthog so far. We get these two brand new Gungnir Spartans that just look awesome with sort of matching and opposite colors which just look incredible with some great detail and the new articulation and new armor I strongly recommend it. It is perfect. It just works so well and the new articulation means you can get some great poses with the new figures. You get a shotgun, a target locator and a saw and all in all I would strongly recommend this product. So this has been another Halo Megablocks review with the SS Motion. I apologise for this makeshift setup. I got this and needed to review it immediately. I'll be back up to a new setup and uh, next time I review something and uh, I hope you enjoyed and uh, please give this a like if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next video.